Well, you know, just a really, really fun atmosphere. You know, um, I love, I love our fans. It's so awesome um, to be able to at least give them something to be really engaged in. Um, but honestly, hats off to Southern. I thought they came out. Um, they definitely threw the first few punches. I thought they did a really nice job. Um, they set the tone. That's something that we've got to continue to do. Um, a better job of is just continuing to start, but I love the way that we finished. I love this was just a complete 100% team win today. Okay. So, um, like, as you, or congratulations on the win. And then, as you guys said, um, you guys were outscored in the first half, but the second half, you guys came out, outscored them both halves, and at the very end, when you guys took the lead, you ran a 12 0 run. How were you guys able to do that in the second half better than the first? Well, I think, honestly, I think the biggest thing is. You know what we kind of talked about is is we did a little bit too much. We we let them we let them be a little bit more physical with us than we than we wanted to play, especially in that first half. And we didn't necessarily set each other up in terms of our offense, and we tried to manufacture a little bit more than than we would have liked to have done. I thought in the second half we did a much better job of being able to own our space, be able to set each other up through screens, through cuts. Um, and just just an overall better communication. But honestly, I, I also think we rebounded a lot better, and it, and it helped us um, be able to get going a little bit more and, and play the tempo that we want to play. Anything else? That's all I got. Sarah, how'd you feel today? Um, good. I mean, the first three quarters I'd like to erase, but the fourth was great. I mean, we just really play as a team and set each other up, and you just feel the energy change, energy shift, and mm -hmm. I thought we really just stayed steady, stayed us. Our belief was never, you know, compromised. We knew that we had it. We were going to come back and be fine. Mm -hmm. Brittany, talk about those two threes you hit there in the fourth quarter that uh, gave you guys the biggest lead of the night to propel you up there. Um, it was just, it really started on the defensive end. We were getting stops, we were running the floor, everyone was running their lanes, and you know, when everyone's running their lanes, that's what gets us open. And when you're open, we everybody shoots the ball. We all have a green light. And so, you know, Maddie Dean set me up really well on one. And we talk about if someone's going to set you up, someone's going to set a hard screen, you shoot the ball. So I did. And thankfully, they went in right well, after I got blocked. <laughs> well, and I think, I think you know, what's really fun is, you know, I thought, I thought Sarah Ryan brought some really good energy. I thought there was no bigger O board than the one that she got um, in that fourth quarter. I mean, that was absolutely huge. It was a momentum. I mean, it gave us the momentum, it, or it continued our momentum, but I thought she was relentless inside. I thought she read what they were giving her. I thought she ran the floor well. Um, now, she's there's still a lot of things that Sarah continue could get better, but I do think that she was, I thought she was really good today, and I thought she came back, and she was probably the most confident that she's been in a long time. Um, and I think our team, we didn't overlook for her today. Sometimes we overlook for her, and sometimes, you know, that's a really good thing, but I think she did a really nice job of setting it up. And I think Brenny's just really done a nice job of, um, especially the tighter the game, the closer the game, I think Brenny's just been a really good calming factor for our team. And she's she understands that it's not necessarily, she never hits panic mode. She never hits, okay, we've got to have a set, we've got to manufacture. She really trusts her team. Um, she trusts herself, she trusts her team. Uh, and she just makes everyone around her really comfortable and really able to thrive even when the game's really tight. So, so I think that was really fun from these two to be able to see those two things today. Um, what does it mean to you two to see the 22 assists after you mentioned only just seven in the first half and then we come back and get 15 and then once again, a real balanced effort. You know, everybody had at least two. Maddie Monaghan, five assists, zero turnovers. Nicole Miller, uh, five assists, two turnovers. You know, what does that mean? Well, I think Maddie Monahan, I thought, had a phenomenal second half. I thought her fourth quarter was really good. I thought she came up with a big stop at the very end of the game. Um, but even more than that, I think she went into the fourth quarter and only had one assist and came out of the game with five. So I think that's that's really impressive when, when you've got to be able to score and you've been down most of the game for her to be able to lead the way that she did as a freshman, I think, is really significant. And then also end with talking about the other night Two steals. What did she bring tonight for you? 
Oh, I thought Maddie Dean was really good, for the exception of like the pass to the fourth row. If she was in here, <laughs> I'd tell her that too. Um, she, I thought she was really good. I thought she was really confident in being able to bring the ball up. She was very confident in being able to play post defense. Or I thought her communication on the defensive end was really, really good. Um, and then obviously, I think when she really put her mind to rebounding in, in the second half, I thought she did a really great job on the defensive rebounds. Um, and then offensively, she's you know when she's in that space, she's really fun to to play with, you know, and I think a lot of our players are willing to either shoot or pass. And, you know, again, I think I think Brittany really has a, a knack for that as well. And she's really finding that balance of when to pass, when to shoot. Um, and, and I think Maddie Dean kind of has that too. But I thought Maddie Dean had a phenomenal game today. I just have one last question. Um, yeah. So one thing that got better as the game went on was I think your defense got a little bit better. Um, they started out maybe making more shots in the first half, and then the second half came along, and you guys were pressing a little bit more and applying more pressure. How how did that contribute to the game? Mm -hmm. um, I guess I can take that. Um, you know, something we talked about at halftime was we wanted to set that tone and we wanted to be the aggressor, and that's exactly what we did. We came out and we were really steady in the first half. We were kind of all over the place, but everyone got in their gaps, and we were playing ball pressure, and we really set the tone, and that's what changed for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I agree with Brittany. I mean, I think first half we were a little bit too much on our heels. And like she said, we weren't being the aggressors. We really just set our mind to it, knew that it was going to start on the defensive end. That really would fuel our offense. So, yep. Yeah.